Hey everyone, hope you're doing well, I'm Lucas and welcome back to another video and today I am showing you guys something race, I didn't race. even know I still had. I didn't even know I had this footage. This is the run, or these are the laps that began my F1 Esports journey, effectively. This is my qualification run for the 2018 F1 Esports Pro Draft back on F1 2017. So, yeah, as you can see, we're driving Monaco. I'm in cockpit cam. We expect to potentially um, see some rain about 10 to 15 Yeah, this is just a throwback and I couldn't believe it when I found I, I, found I still had this footage. I, I literally, like, I was like, no way I've still got this. And it's so crazy to look back on to what, so... Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just get back to it. So, the, this was when there were, so basically how it worked back then, so in 2018, there was the first ever F1 Esports Pro Draft. In 2017, they obviously had the first F1 Esports Championship at uh, Abu Dhabi, um, as we said, parents. Um, but then, um, the F1 Esports Pro Draft was the first, the first time that was happening, and it was because in 2018, that was the first year F1 Esports had F1 teams involved. So there was the pro draft to help what like, select the drivers and stuff. The and the way you got into the pro draft was there was four qualifying events on the F1 game on uh, various tracks and various scenarios, um, and the top like so, so many drivers got selected into like a, another race that I then allowed you to qualify for the pro draft. So basically, have you ever tried the like the? There's, you can still do it on F122. Like, I think it's, it's the, like, the hot lap, um, not the hot lap, but the event scenarios that you do. Um, this was the same thing. So you get like an overall score at the end for your overall race time and also your fastest lap, and you can't get any warnings. These sort of things. So it was basically a run of laps that you had to go as fast as humanly possible um, and it all added up as to our score so yeah I remember um, I remember doing this this was the fourth and final event that you could use for qualification these events were held on PC, Xbox and PS4 this is from PlayStation as you may have already noticed from the button map and the buttons at the bottom right um, so yeah, this is a um, that was my fastest lap there, I believe, because you you only you can only do it on like the a certain amount of laps. So yeah, and you can just see the engine braking as well when you just slam it to first how how and the rear the grip as well. It's just so many things looking back at this. You know, like oh wow, this is crazy. Um, even the cockpit cam, like I mean, I've, I used cockpit cam for a long time, but the look to Apex is so much. I don't know why. So, yeah, it's just cool to watch this back when I didn't realise I still had it. And in this event, you had to overtake two cars. Now, with the AI, that's one of the biggest um, things with these events, is you had to pass the AI at the, the fastest possible moment. And sometimes you would catch them too quickly or too late, but quite often you would have one chance to overtake. And you could be on the best run ever, but then you would get really unlucky with how the AI moved or how... Um, or where you overtook the AI, these sort of things, so it's quite um, quite crazy. So, heading on to the second last lap now, um, is, and you don't do the whole race, as you saw, you sort of load in after a late pit stop sort of thing. And yeah, we are approaching Hamilton now, and yeah, we you really need to overtake them, otherwise you start getting held. So, we actually, we're, we're not so much, we're not exactly close to them, but you, you actually have to dive bomb, like full on send them into the, the hairpin and then at this point I know I'm on like a good, you know you're on a good run but your rear grip goes lower and lower and lower as this um, as this event progress but as I was saying earlier there was four, this was the fourth and final event because it was the only one that I could fully commit to actually like trying to do let's say um, and the reason for that was um, my exams because I was doing this was like I was in fourth year of secondary school at this point so this was me do, I was doing this uh, oh wait no what year no I was doing what year was this 
2018. So this was um, sorry, this was after me doing my higher exams uh, in secondary school. So if you live in Scotland, you know what those are. But yeah, uh, this was the only one that I could I had time to like let's say fully dedicate to. Um, and yeah, I remember on this this was like the second last day or like the final day of the qualifier, and I remember. Sweat. I probably drove for like 10 hours in a row, like I was just uh, like, dr driving for 10 hours basically, like just driving, stop me, stop me, stop me, stop, trying to get this a, a, a run, because the higher you are, the way it worked was the higher you were in the, the leaderboard, um, you got a higher grid position, because that was how the, the grid was set, there was no qualifying, so, because after this, I had to do a, a race around Monaco, um, against the top 10 in this leaderboard and it was um, the top 3 that went through so I wanted to be near the top 3 because obviously it's Monaco um, and I believe I got 2nd in the overall leaderboard or like that's how it worked out in the end because I started P2 in the race but yeah coming to the line now and that these were the laps that began my F1 eSports career in effect because after this I went to the Pro Draft I didn't get picked I started league racing for the next year against the best, you know, against the best that I could. Became an F1 esports driver, and, and I can see now, the driver. now, you know, sitting here as I do this voiceover, we are world champions. So it's kind of crazy to be making this video. But thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this throwback, and I'll see you guys next time.